Hey guys, what's up? Today we got a triple integral. We're going to look at finding the volume of the part of the ball x squared plus y squared plus z squared less than or equal to 9 that lies between the two cones phi equals pi over 6 and phi equals pi over 8. So we have to get a good idea of what this looks like. So these two cones are cones that are going up above the x, y plane and the ball is a radius 3 ball because our radius squared is 9. So if we try to visualize what this is, this is going to be like a piece of a ball that's not quite touching the z-axis but not going down to the xy plane either because I'm between these two cones of pi over 6, which is a little bit off the z-axis, and then pi over 3, which is pretty far off the z-axis. So if we get a visual of that, that's a cone that looks something like this. So this is pi over 3 down here. So this is pi over 3, and then this is pi over 6, pi over 3 right here. And this would be z, this would be phi equals 0 right here. The z-axis would be phi equals 0. So 0, pi over 6, pi over 3. So we want to stay between those two cones, and I want to be under the ball. So that's going to be my region of integration, so everything in here is our region of integration. So that's the thing we're trying to find the volume of. Things to keep in mind, x squared plus y squared plus z squared equals rho squared. So that's going to be important when we're finding our bounds for rho. So rho is going to be bounded from 0 to the sphere. Theta is an easy target. It's going to go all the way around the z-axis. And then phi, that's another easy thing that's been given already. Find the bounds. Find all the bounds first. So if we look at this image a little bit more closely, we can figure out the bounds for each variable. All right, so here we got the uh, here we got the image or the region of integration blown up a little bit. So let's look at maybe rho. Rho is going to go from the origin out to the sphere. So rho is going from the origin out to the sphere at all these different angles. So rho is going to go from 0 to 3 because rho squared was bounded by 9. So rho is going to go from 0 to 3. Theta is going to go all the way around the z-axis. So theta is going to go from 0 to 2 pi. That's an easy target usually. And then phi is going to go from pi over 6 to pi over 3. So phi is going to go from pi over 6 down to pi over 3. So those are our bounds. And now we can find the volume by setting up our triple integral of 1 dv. So we got our bounds here. So we read, plug in the bounds 0 to 2 pi for theta, pi over 6 to pi over 3 for phi, and 0 to 3 for rho, so 1 dv. Spherical coordinates, dv is rho squared sine phi, d rho, d phi, d theta. All right, so we look at this integral. There's no theta in the bounds anywhere. There's no theta in the integrand. Pull the d theta over with the integral 0 to 2 pi. Just get a 2 pi automatically. So you get 2 pi. Again, this is a nice product of integrands, so I can say that this is integral pi over 6 to pi over 3 sine phi d phi. And then integral 0 to 3 rho squared d rho. So this is going to integrate nicely. This is going to be 2 pi times negative cosine phi from pi over 6 to pi over 3 and then rho cubed over 3 from 0 to 3. So rho cubed over 3 from 0 to 3, which is going to be 2 pi times, let's see, cosine, negative cosine of pi over 3 would be negative 1 half. Minus minus will be plus square root of 3 over 2. And then rho cubed will be 27 over 3 minus 0. So 27 over 3 is 9. And let's see, what can we do? We could cancel this 2 with these halves in here. Let's say the final answer is going to be 9 pi times square root of 3 
minus 1 units cubed. So that would be our volume. 